Azure DevOps now supports service tags. But what are service tags? And what problems did user face when this was not supported? Let's discover it together in this Three Minutes Friday. Hello everybody, welcome back to Correct Dave and welcome to a new episode of the Three Minutes series. In each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or a service, or yet try and teach you something and all in just three minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Today we talk about an important new feature of Azure DevOps, the support for Azure service tags. But let's start the clock and get into it. And let's start with the challenges. Azure DevOps, as I'm sure you know, is a multi-instance geographically distributed cloud service. As such, Azure DevOps systems are added or migrated regularly, and when that happens, existing IP addresses change or new IP addresses are added. As a result, users that were unaware of these IP changes may have experienced malfunctions or service interruptions, and to fix that, they were required to manually change their on-prem firewall or their Azure Network Security Group. But how do service tags help? Service tags are a convenient way for users to manage their networking configuration to allow traffic from specific Azure services. A service tag basically represents a group of IP address prefixes from a given Azure service. Using service tags, you can define network access control on network security groups or Azure firewall or even on-prem firewalls. By specifying the service tag name in the appropriate source or destination field of a rule, you can allow or deny the traffic to or from that specific service without worrying about its IP addresses. Now that a service tag has been set up for Azure DevOps, users can easily allow access to services like Azure Repo, Azure Boards, and Azure Pipelines by adding the tag name Azure DevOps to their network security groups or firewalls programmatically using PowerShell and CLI or in the Azure portal. And in case of an on-prem firewall, Users may also use the service tag for on-prem firewall via JSON file download. It's important to note that the new Azure DevOps service tag does not currently apply to the Microsoft hosted agents for Azure pipelines. For that, you're still required to allow the entire geography. And if that is not an option for you, it's advisable to use the Azure Virtual Machine Scaleset agents which basically is a form of hosted agent that allow you to scale almost unlimitedly using the virtual machine scale set. And we're done, let's stop the clock. So what do you think about this new feature? What do you think about the service tags for Azure DevOps? Do they solve any problem for you? Let me know in the comment section below. But what are service tags? And what could... Today we talk an exciting... No. So how service sir ah, ha, ha, was almost all right in the appropriate fi appropriate but that's it for me thanks so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video hit the like button below subscribe if you haven't already and i see you in the next video here at coder dave